ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅ ವೀಕ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಡೋಬಿ ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಶ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಅ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಫಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಎಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸೇವ್ಡ್ ಐ ಐ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಲಾಸ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ಮೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫೋಟೋಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಬ್ಲ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಲರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಐ ವಾಸ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸೇ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಗಾಟನ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಡೋಬಿ ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಎ ಐ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ some other photos so i have received a, a very challenging photos they are challenging because they are taken in a mobile phone most of the cap photos and uh, in a very challenging background or a busy background something like that so i am expecting good results from this adobe ai feature so let's see let's hop in so the photoshop beta application is available in your creative cloud so if you go to your creative cloud and if you go under apps so you would be finding beta apps in the beta apps you have photoshop beta if you haven't downloaded this download this is from farikshit uh, this in itself is a real good photo i am going to experiment with this but i feel very pessimistic about it i'm not sure how would the results turn out to be uh, then this is a photo shared by my friend savita and guru so this is a workable photo let's see how will it go this is another friend rupali skate vaishnavi this cute kid i think i'll make it a wider photo with uh, maybe a little bit of a cushy surroundings another friend of mine sachin's son so this has a very busy background i'm not sure how am i going to turn this into a better background how much adobe can do its magic this is another friend's daughter uttam so he has a specification that put something like a surfing board or in a volcanic eruption kind of place so with this dress probably it may not go well but let me try anyway so this is uh, another friend priya skates so this is a very promising image uh, there is a lot of busy activity going on in the beach in the background so i am planning to remove all that and make it a wider beach scape uh, this is uh, my friend and colleague nisarg's photo probably this is uh, at the base camp of mount everest so somebody has uh, put the finger in front of the lens while taking this photo aise ungli nahi karna chahiye anyway i think this is a uh, easiest of all lot so i think it will take hardly one or two minutes to remove this this is the most promising image of all images that i have received this is again once again nisa looking at the himalayan hills so uh, this i want to make it a very wider photo keeping him a uh, very tiny object in front of the hills i am not sure how adobe is going to recreate mountains this is funny another friend uh, this is a no brainer i am going to remove this uh, background something mountains or beach in the background let's see how will it work this is priya and her twin sons again this she wants a better background uh, so keeping the christmas theme in the background i think i'll go with something christmasy i am not even sure that is the word so christmasy background so this is such in probably a grah pravesha so this is a bit challenging let's see so these are all overall images that i have selected uh, along with uh, there are couple of images that were shared 
by another friend abhi also i'm going to experiment yeah let me take the first one as the most challenging one that's that is being priya's photo so what i'm going to do here is select subject with this new addition of whatever this is called the selection is very easy job although it doesn't do completely perfect job but it is understandable because sometimes background and uh, the subject blend so here i'm picking the lasso tool and uh, selecting a uh, hey part a little bit here it has missed out this part i'm selecting this and removing this selection and uh, selecting this entire thing and uh, pull a little more hair not literally oops Uh, oops what am i doing no oh, i need to remove this now why am i adding i'm holding alt now uh, little further okay so kids uh, okay here is a little bit monkey select to here and remove this part hold alt and make a selection so yeah i'm going to select a little bit of hair here so hands okay looks okay yeah. Yeah, I think this is all fine. So, with this selected, uh, I'm going to inverse this selection so that the background is now selected. Oops. The word that I'm using is Christmas. Let's see how it renders. Okay. No, very bad. Mm, the selection is horrible. This is okay, but not great. Could have been better. Let me generate another three more. Okay. Oh crap! What the hell is this? Would have been what? What are you supposed to do here? Where did you get this zombie baby? <laughs> okay, this is better, but her hair is messing up. No. Let me generate three more. Oh, <laughs> something is seriously wrong with this AI. Putting some zombie babies randomly into this. Let me generate three more. <laughs> this is creepy as hell. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. No. 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 Okay. I think this is the best I could get among all that creepiness of AI. This is not great as such, but uh, I would say much better than so many experiments I did over there. So I'm going to finalize on this and share with her. Hopefully, she'll be satisfied with this. I'm not sure. So. Abhinand has very specific uh, ask because he has already used uh, Firefox. Uh, he just wanted to see if Adobe Generative Fill is going to give a similar result as so. So what he wanted was the camera in his hand to be a bit uh, futuristic camera. That's the first ask, and he also asked how would he look 30 years down the line. Let's see. First, now I'm going to. Doesn't look futuristic, but okay. This looks like a kit lens. Why is this weird flash on the top? Only Adobe knows. Okay, looks interesting. Maybe I'll keep this. No better. I'll generate few more. Let's see. And uh, yeah, it looks ugly. Okay, it's just going with the similar ones and generating weirder cameras. Okay, I think I'll stick with this. Now, how about make him look older? I am not sure if it is going to use the same face and create him as a older person. Uh, so older look weird. Let's see. I'm just using some random keywords. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> okay, thirty years down the line, Abhi, you may not look like this for sure. <laughs> And what's with that weird neck band? <laughs> okay, this is a cooler dude, but it is not how he is going to look. No, it is just simply putting some older man's face into this. No, 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 no. Okay, let me generate few more. No, terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, this is not going to work. I think uh, I'll better delete this. So, how if I select just the beard, make it? Um, I don't know white beard, or should I use grey? I don't know. Let me check. Not bad. This is made him look little tougher. Oh, this is horrible. Should I use grey beard? Let me check.
with kid uh, vaishnavi's image the task was pretty simple all i had to do was uh, expand the image based on the dress and her uh, bed sheet i just let adobe do the magic without me interfering with my keywords This is arguably the best image of all I've received, uh, and uh, I'm very. Uh, I was very sure when I started this project that uh, Adobe might give a most accurate result for this image. So my plan was to make this uh, huge image with uh, all the mountains completely and make him make the subject tiny in front of the uh, hills. So that's when what I decided was like I try to expand this image. Uh, I try to expand this image keeping the subject in the rule of third on the left corner so here is what I first expanded the image post that uh, I increase the brightness of the subject so that the face and hands are clearly visible now then it was all about selecting the rectangular marquee tool and uh, select each portion and expand upon it so as I did this is the first now uh, why what i tried to do is like i did not select the entire portion because i was working on a, a step by step basis so that i can get the realistic possible image and uh, look at the beauty i don't know how this ai works but whatever it has given is truly unbelievable ladies and gentlemen this is a ai generated image uh, I am truly out of words how this calculated and gave this kind of result. So after this, I am taking the most probably the easier one. I hope so. So all it requires here is to remove this finger. I have seen in some of the videos in YouTube, AI is bit terrible in uh, generating a hand and fingers okay it's a bad job oh terrible hi and So with this image of Priya's twins, I think this uh, this was a relatively easy task to do and uh, I already had a vision in my mind on what to be done. So this is the original image and I expanded this with some empty pixels over there so that I can fill up uh, this with a vast beach. First task I tried to do was to remove these uh, distracting elements in the background. So I just removed this candy truck, whatever you want to call that. Then uh, here as well. So what do you see? This is what I removed. So it's, Adobe has done very nice job in filling up these places with a realistic background. So it kind of removed the date here. Yeah, tire looks little bit weird but still okay so then expanded so look at this it's truly believable then expansion in the bottom and if you look at it the shadow it generated is also something unbelievable in the original image there is no shadow this is a beauty expanded here as well so if you look at this part a little bit the the tire looks little unusually thinner but i'm not going to touch it because uh, it's barely noticeable and i filled the sky so this is the final image how it looks i am quite satisfied with this image let me export this image i think priya will be happy with this result quite happy quite happy should i go a little bit of a wider image with this i'm getting a bit greedy now okay okay so take a 
rectangular marquee tool select this entire portion generate your fill generate okay sky is a bit easy task to do i think i'll go with this guy it looks realistic okay generate no the ocean starts here why would you have boats here okay good this is good this is good i'm loving it okay, should i generate three more let's see if anything better comes up in the next three combinations i'll go with that otherwise i think this is the final image to go with no nope. bad no i think i'll go with the uh, yeah yeah this is good so yeah so another satisfying result so now i'll take up the image of sachin sun so i'm going to first turn it off and uh, this is a bit tilted image so first let me keep original ratio then straighten so take straighten tool okay yeah this is straighter yes there are some empty pixels i don't care it's okay okay he looks straighter now but the problem with this image is already this is too tight so ah going to be tougher quite honestly with sachin skid and uh, sachin's family portrait with so much of going on with the image and its background whatever the best i could get is what i have gotten but uh, i am not at all happy with the result adobe gave but the reason i wanted to show this processing as a part of this video is to tell ai it's not all fairy tale we probably have to wait few more days a few more months to get better at it or i am missing something while generating these images. images probably if anyone have any better suggestion please put your thoughts in the comments let me try those keywords or whatever the suggestions i get uh, i just want to make these two images much better than what they turned out to be This has been a overall experience of Adobe 
generative field artificial intelligence so yeah uh, my satisfaction ratio has drastically come down from what i was having earlier but having said that we'll have to understand this is in the very early stages of uh, ai so it is going to improve uh, probably in two months or six months down the line whatever i'm seeing might have a greater results yeah this also comes with a dreadful fact that uh, when you can create whatever you want to in front of your system then what's the point in going and taking photos outside but these images these beautiful images are not the ones that sits in our uh, memories or not in our hearts it's the experience of going there and taking those images so that is going to triumph over whatever the artificial intelligence features that might come in a way it is good to have these kind of tools because there are some unavoidable situations when you take some photos which you wanted to correct it and uh, having this kind of tool really helps so yeah so far uh, the artificial intelligence has been is been intelligent artificially so uh, there is a time to become bit natural so let's hope for the best and uh, thank you if you are watching this video uh, i would like to do more of such experiments not just related to this if you like this video please like and share it with others who wants to know about these kind of uh, features thank you namaskara